one of the most important wildlife sanctuaries on the continent. It's the last place on Earth where you can come face to face with the great predators of the Mediterranean forest. This is Sierra Morena, sunlit forests which hide some of the weirdest, most beautiful and intriguing creatures on Earth. Tiny nooks and corners of life and death. This is a habitat rich in legend. A place where wildlife struggles to survive in an environment increasingly shaped by humans. And it's an ecosystem which is now facing a deadly enemy. There is a plague affecting the trees here. It's now reached an epidemic scale and it could destroy the forest. Mediterranean forest. The landscape of Sierra Morena is a human construction. <laughs> Sensitive management has enabled the conservation as well as the use of natural resources for centuries. humans and nature, living in harmony, until now. In recent years, approaches to forest management have changed and it's upset the ecological balance. The forest is under attack. With an ailing habitat and rising temperatures, this landscape is becoming an inhospitable place, even for us. At the heart of Sierra Morena, the wolf survives. Cunning, secretive and cautious, they stay away from humans. But after several days without food, something in the air has unsettled them. The small family clan meets. This is a battle for leadership. The prize of status is well worth having. First priority when there's food. The contenders curl their tails upwards in a show of aggression. It's clear who the winner is. Uh -oh. 
There is no time to lose. The group quickly gets to work. No movement in the forest ever goes unnoticed. Rowdy magpies reveal the location of carrion to everyone. You have to move fast to get there first. The dominant wolves begin to eat. The rest will get their share later, if there is anything left. Iberian wolf is a scavenger. It lives privately, avoiding conflict with humans. A low-ranking wolf tries to get his share of the lunch. No luck this time. But persistence is essential. Soon enough, his chance comes. Wolf is an intelligent social animal. It plays a key role in the ecosystem and its preservation may be essential to saving Sierra Morena. But we still don't fully understand the role of the wolf in this complex natural environment. It may be the wolf's ancestral hunting prowess, their supremacy in the food chain that will be the key to this region's survival. Today, the vultures have lost the race. The difference in altitude and temperature between the peaks of Sierra Morena and the deep valleys have allowed a vast variety of vegetation to thrive. Oleasters and palmettos find the conditions ideal in these lower, warmer areas of the mountain. Under this oleaster, a family of mice spends the winter in the safety of their burrow. It is the end of the cold season. The pantry is empty. Venturing out to find food is essential. The house mouse is the most abundant mammal on Earth after humans. Its success as a species is down to its high reproductive rate and its ability to adapt. But living here is not easy. The mouse creeps forward, using vegetation to shelter from the eyes of its predators. And today, there are plenty of watchful eyes. These little owl chicks just one month old, are ravenously hungry. But since they have not yet learned to fly, somebody has to do their hunting for them. That somebody is equipped with an arsenal of deadly weaponry. He can fly in silence 
and he can see at night. This male is a great hunter. He has proven himself by raising a number of offspring. This year, thanks to an abundance of mice, he can afford a second family in the spring. This wide expanse of Sierra Morena is covered with pastures. The ancient inhabitants of the Iberian Peninsula cleared the thick forest here, exploiting the fertile lower slopes. But the rugged, steep forest was preserved, providing a refuge for species such as this, the Spanish Imperial Eagle. In this ecosystem, exploitation of the natural environment has not prevented the natural development of species. It's a peaceful home, especially if you have friends like these. The bull, descendant of the legendary Auroch, abounds here. It's spring, and the bulls are restless. This will be a season of disputes. The outcomes will determine the hierarchy of the pack. This is ritual provocation. The bull smells his rival. He bears his upper lip. The pungent aroma is a stimulant and the bull is up for a fight. The posturing continues. Tensions are running high and then the real fighting begins. Despite there being no females in this pack, some bulls try to mate anyway, without success. Everyone's grievances have been aired, calm returns. Order is re-established.
In the meadows, historical forest dwellers have learned to thrive. Among the branches of the trees, the hunter waits. The hawk is a specialist. He can catch prey on the ground or in the air. In the spring, there's an abundant supply of rabbits, and the hawk knows it. His powerful talons, his strength, and his speed and agility in the air make him the supreme woodland hunter. But he's perfect, and every failed attack wastes vital energy. It can't happen again. This time, there is no mistake. Sierra Morena is home to a rich variety of botanical life. But it's only when conditions are just right that the jewel of the forest can flourish, the orchard. With their curvaceous flowers, orchards can be pearly white or vibrantly colorful. Some species have evolved growths in the shape of a bee to encourage the real thing to take an interest.
the untamed landscape of the Sierra de Andujar. For the lynx, living here is becoming increasingly difficult. Disease has greatly reduced the population of rabbits, their main prey. The lynx has had to expand its territory, traveling long distances just to find something to eat. He won't pass up the opportunity to catch a bird if one makes it easy for him. But he'd still prefer a rabbit. And in that, he's not alone. The golden eagle is hovering. The lynx's spotted coat gives camouflage among the vegetation. Stealthy and cautious, a strategic hunter. He's grateful for the meal, but this is only the start of the food chain. For his lunch is someone else's dinner. beetles are the recyclers of the mountains. They make their home in lynx excrement. And they make full use of it. The trox feeds on chitin, a protein in the nails, feathers and hairs of the lynx's prey. toad will wait for a more tender snack. Sunrise in 
Sierra Morena. The epidemic afflicting the oak trees has claimed another victim, and the imperial eagle finds it a perfect vantage point for surveying his territory. It's late spring, and magpie chicks fly in groups with the adults. Today they've woken up in an excitable mood. The size of the group emboldens some chicks to play a game with the emperor. This playful disrespect will give them confidence around the far more powerful eagle for the rest of their lives. One day they may even be able to steal his prey. The game is to stay perched on the same branch longer than the eagle. Although there are some who are outstanding at this game, not everyone's at the same level. The eagle soon learns that the best way to be left alone is to ignore them. On the crests of Sierra Morena lives the golden eagle. She is the queen of the peaks. From the top of a cliff, she inspects her territory and keeps a lookout for prey. Meanwhile, these young rabbits are hesitantly making their first short excursion outdoors. never seen a golden eagle before, but can sense the danger nonetheless. The golden eagle combines power and a sharp tactical mind, but she knows she has only one attempt to catch the prey. She's simply too big to maneuver with any agility on the ground. She'll wait for another opportunity.
this time, she won't fail. In the excitement of the kill, she puffs out her feathers, a warning to any opportunists who might fancy a share of the spoils. Sierra Morena is covered by a forest of more than one million hectares but its days may be numbered. The trees are dying. There is an infestation of dry rot spreading throughout the forest. The trees are losing their leaves. And this year, they won't grow back. They're infected with blight brought over by humans. The sick and weakened trees are easy prey for other pests. Serumbicid larva. This is the wood eating great Capricorn beetle in its larval stage. Its role is important in ecosystems because it eats up the dead and diseased trees, creating space for new ones. But when so many of the trees are damaged, the beetles simply take over. Beetle larva can remain feeding on a trunk for up to four years. After which they metamorphose into something completely different. The adults are equipped with large antenna that afford the beetle its keen sense of smell. It's this which the beetle uses to find sick trees, finely tuned as it is to the characteristic aroma of disease. This male has taken possession of a dying tree. Females seek out wounds in the tree's trunks to deposit their eggs. These cuts will ooze sap, perfect food for the beetles. Any wound, natural or man-made, through pruning or the cork harvest, is ripe for infection. The female lays her eggs. It's the beginning of a new cycle. But the tree is living on borrowed time.
nature has remarkable powers of regeneration. It has always been like that. In areas where the numbers of deer are not too high, trees and shrubs of all ages are prospering. There's food for everyone. The deer are healthy, the antlers strong. Increasingly in Sierra Morena, there's simply not enough to go around. Food is scarce, vegetation is becoming impoverished. When there is this much competition for food, the deer's antlers grow stunted and weak. Disputes over food are commonplace. And in these conditions, Woodland regeneration is almost impossible. While the plentiful deer and mouflon ravenously consume all the vegetation, the forest has no time for recovery. The west wind brings moisture. fields are green. As the breeze sways the trees, they release their precious treasure. Each acorn is a capsule of potential, the possibility of life. But this year, few will have the chance to germinate. After the scarcity of the summer, the richly nutritious acorns are highly prized. They treasured as a fat source by the local inhabitants preparing for a freezing winter. forest is dying and overcrowding of deer and wild boar is preventing recovery. The ecological balance has been broken. But there is one animal that can control the herbivore population and provide the forest with the respite it needs. The wolves have spotted a group of deer, but they're too far away and in open ground. They know it's better to wait. The search goes on. These deer are closer. With one look, the plan is set.
Ambush is the wolf's best strategy. The alpha male is in charge. But every wolf knows his role. There's a whisper in the forest, and the deer sense that the wolves are close. will try to get as close as possible. And then strike. Their strategy is to identify the weakest individual and separate it from the group. But the nearby shepherd and his dogs are too risky an adversary, and the attack is called off. Humans once again have disrupted the natural order. The Spanish Imperial Eagle, the Iberian Lynx, and the Wolf are symbols of Sierra Morena and the species to which it provides a home. We now know that the conservation of this natural area depends upon us. Sierra Morena's problems are simply part of a narrative we are crafting all across our planet. Our species has triggered the sixth mass extinction on the Earth. Nature ensures the game of life will continue, but perhaps one day the players will have to change. Because if we continue to destroy our habitat and the living things upon which we thrive, the next candidate for extinction may be us. <laughs>